What's up guys, I'm Garamoth and welcome back to Spelunky Daily. Yes, it is more daily and as per usual before we start we will check the leaderboards and... Wait, what's what's that noise? Yes, we have a new challenger entering the fray and that is Dan aka some kind of wizard. He has joined our little explorers club and we shall check out the leaderboard to see how he did yesterday when he did his first run. Yeah, I came first with 4-3, which I'm still pretty happy about, to be honest. Uh, second was Greg, 2-1. Then we had Nick and Pib joined third with 1-4 each. And then Dan got to 1-2, and Pete got to 1-2. Pretty good from Dan, to be honest, considering it's his first ever Spelunky run. Like, ever. He didn't even pre he, he literally bought the game, did the daily. Like, immediately. So, yeah. Well, it was pretty cool. Uh, now we will hop into the actual run. I will catch you guys in a second. Alright guys, time for the daily run. It is the 19th of September. It is, well, at the time of the run, it was about 1 o'clock. It is now half past 1 because, yes, you might have guessed, this is post-commentary. Um, I basically got most of the way through the, my run and noticed that the microphone was off. So I'd just been sat there talking to myself like an idiot. Yeah. But the intro is fine. I got the intro because I, re I actually record my intro after the run. And rather than just upload like an empty run with no commentary, I thought, you know, I'd throw in some post commentary. Maybe comment on what, you know, I could have done better in hindsight. Uh, so far, this level is, uh, it's it's not a bad 1-1 one -one so far, but there's no, there's not a lot of cash so far. As you can see, I've only got 1,800. Oh, I got an easy pop at least. That's what I do like. I, I, I noticed the 1-1 the one, one levels tend to be very zigzaggy. Like, you go from side to side to side to side as you go down. But yeah, overall this layout wasn't too bad. Yeah. The orc a bit comes when you get to, like, stuff like this. It's just like, ah, oh, I want to explore more of this bottom floor, but I can't. Because it would require bombs, and bombs are pretty useful. Uh, they're, they're a very very useful item, one of the most useful items in the game. And that spider was being very annoying. Absolute jerk. I was trying so hard not to lose health as like on 1-1. One, one. It does give you a decent start on 1-2 doing that, you know. You got five health from the damsel or pug or mandel or whatever you rescued. Uh I'm trying to remember what 1-2 is like. Oh yes, this is uh there's an altar in this level. Yes, I remember this. And so I decided immediately you know what? I've got five health. The altar and the pugs right there. Sacrifice. And I get spike boots. Spike boots being pretty decent. Big fan of those. Of course, spike boots giving you extra damage when you jump on someone's head, which makes you able to damage certain things you couldn't otherwise damage. And also, it stops you sliding around on ice, which is obviously not useful until you get to ice caves, but when you get to the ice caves, it's very useful. Uh, first store on 1 2 is a bomb store. Not the best start to go offensive in if you were going to, or at least in terms of guaranteed offense. I mean, it, it's a really nice start to rob. Like, if you wanted to go offensive in that and you pulled it off, you get a lot of bombs, which is fantastic. But there's nothing there to help you go offensive, is what I mean. Uh, right here is when I decide I want to go to the left, which means going back to get more bombs, I think. Yeah. I want to explore it, like, because underneath the soil you can see there's a whole bunch of loot. So I decided that it was probably worth it if I could get through, yeah. And I spent most of my money, I got paste and uh, a pack of bombs. I think that's that's reasonable. Maybe I should have got another bag of bombs, but... This is where it gets a bit awkward because of that damn arrow trap right there. I have to essentially be very careful because I have nothing to set that off. At all. Which means we're going to have to use a few extra bombs than I'd like to get through here. But it does it safely and it gets me a bit of extra money. So, I mean, it could have been a lot worse, let's be honest. I, I think the payoff was worth it. I mean, I miss a couple of things. I missed those two bars and I missed the emerald because I'm not willing to set those traps off. Because I, I just don't have anything to set them off safely with. Which is very rare in Spelunky to actually have nothing at all to set a trap off with. 1-3 uh, is a snake pit, 
Uh, I've been commenting recently on my, um, when I've been doing practice runs and stuff, like, I haven't been getting that many snake pets at all. Compared to how, what the, it's been like in the past, it just seems like, <laughs> oh, that was close. Um, it just seems like snake pits are really rare now. They used to be really common. I don't know if they've tweaked anything with the regeneration or it's just, I don't know, random chance. <laughs> Oh yeah, one thing I, slight, I forgot to mention is this was my first run of the day. Uh, I didn't do a practice run. I just went straight into the run. We're going to go down the snake pit. The key's there, which is great. And luckily enough, the chest is pretty close by as well. Which is always nice. It's very nice when you get stuff like that. Some easy money. And of course, at the bottom, we get our free matic. There's the chest as well down there. Just to sit once we got the matic, that's a very simple case of uh, digging through. And this is where Spelunky can annoy the crap out of me. Like the the sort of like algorithm or whatever it is for picking things up when there's multiple things on top of each other. I'm aware that it's at least as far as I'm aware, it seems to pick up the thing. You pick up the thing that was dropped there last. So, like, as in when you drop something, it ends up on top of the other thing, and thus you pick that up first. But it always seems to work out that you just always pick up the least useful thing. When there's two things on top of each other, you'll always end up picking up the least useful thing, which is incredibly annoying. Like I said, I think it's just coincidence that that happens, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating. I actually had an offensive run end because um, a shotgun and... The shotgun I was wanted to use to kill the shopkeeper, and, like, an arrow landed on top of each other. And I couldn't pick the shotgun up before the shopkeeper recovered, and I got murdered. <sighs> Alright, we're into 1 4 now, and we get a Skinner's Crawling level. I, I'm gonna pick up some bombs in the compass. And yeah, it's it's interesting having a Skinner's Crawling and a Snake Pit on the same run. Interesting, and I. Uh, I'm basically just gonna use the Matic here to get as much money as I can. Try and make up for the fact that. Uh, you know, I didn't get much money in 1-1. One, one. And it's always nice just to use the Matic like that. If you can just get at the gems once you've got the uh, the eye. So you can see the, the spectacles. It's just nice always mining them out. I did think about going up to get that lot. But I worked, it would take a bomb and a rope. And I don't think it's worth it. Especially since I only have two ropes left. This bit of the level gets pretty annoying because... A, screw that spider. And B, you, you have... Like, there's just all the giant spiders there. They're kind of in a really awkward place. So what I decided to do is go down. And I was trying to use that spider to set off the arrow traps. And they didn't set off. And I was I was kind of semi in shock about that. I was like, really? God. Why? Like, arrow traps are, like, super troll. Like, sometimes they have, like, the longest detection range. And then other times they have the shortest. And it's always when it's the least convenient for you. <laughs> so I don't actually have a way to set these traps off anymore. The top... Yeah, I forgot about that, actually. <laughs> I got the spider up above, set the top arrow trap off, which uh, broke the arrow, luckily. And then the, the sort of broken bit fell on me. For a second there, in the actual run, I thought I'd been hurt. Like, I thought I'd been probably hit by the thing, and I was about to get really annoyed. But, no. It turns out that I got hit by the broken arrow, which doesn't actually do damage. Which is nice. And I didn't actually notice that spider. That's why I, I didn't even notice he was on the ceiling at all. Uh, that, that wasn't a bad one for. Got okay amount of money. Less than I'd like, admittedly. I mean, I'd kind of like to be around fi like 50 grand right now. Got just, I've just got, yeah, I've got just under 40. But I mean, it's still possible. Like, if you're looking for the black market, you obviously want 50 grand for the Ankh. And uh, my magic breaks there, which was annoying because I wanted to use it to free the damsel. But whatever, I got bombs. Um. Yeah, you want 50 grand for the ank, obviously. Like that's the uh, that's the ideal solution. It, the ideal situation is to have, have more than 50 grand, but 50 grand for the ank means that stupid monkey. Uh, 50 grand for the ank plus extra stuff to buy, so you want minimum 50, and you know you've still got a chance. Like the thing you got to try. You, ideally, you want to get 50 before the end of mines or at the end of mines because, in theory, the black market could be on this level, like oh, immediately on jungle one. Uh, 1-1. One, one. Sorry, 2-1. God damn it. <coughs> yeah, the jungle... 
That was really annoying, that throw. I was so annoyed at that. I threw the, the damsel. You know, probably I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did, and she ended up in the tiny gap where the spikes are. It's like, really? Come on, game. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know where the black market is on this run. Like, I have no clue. I don't think it was on this level. I'm pretty sure it wasn't on that level. I guess I could have missed it in that bottom left corner, but... Maybe it's on this level somewhere. I'm trying to... I know the technically spoilers in that I didn't find the black market, but... I'm genuinely trying to look for it myself right now. This is pretty irritating as well. Um, the guy with the boomerang is gu essentially guarding the sh store. Uh, these guys, could, if these guys actually get their boomerang off, they can be really irritating. But luckily, my spike shoes means I could actually kill him with one jump on the head. Uh, oh yeah, this is also a rushing water level. I don't know if I pointed that out at the start, which means the entire bottom of the jungle, uh, the entire bottom layer of the jungle is completely underwater. It has hundreds of piranhas in it and a giant piranha mini boss thing. So yeah, rushing water levels can be pretty annoying. Uh, it, there is a character down there if you don't have, if you don't, uh, if you're not on a daily run or whatever, there is a character you can unlock down there. So that's nice, but it is basically suicide. And I was pretty frustrated about that chest falling into the water. I really wanted the money because as you can see, I'm still short of the 50 grand. And at this point, I'm also kind of worried that I've missed the black market. Because you, like, it's not, I know, it tends to be, I, I don't know, it tends to be on 1-2-2. On two, two, two. But it doesn't seem to be this time. I, I also really like these, the, the, these jungle levels you get, so these sort of, like, I guess village layouts that you sometimes get. They're pretty rare, or they seem to be pretty rare. They're, they're kind of cool, I do like them. They're definitely, in, like, interesting to traverse. Yeah, I blew that Tiki Trap up because screw trying to deal with that. Using the damsel as a weapon, because I am a manly hero. Again, I'm just kind of trying to scout the area for the black market right now. And also, you know, cash. And then I do this. Yeah, that death was kind of annoying. Uh, I got really annoyed at that death. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I'm not going to be like, yeah, I was kind of like, oh, whatever, and brushed off. No, I, I, was, I was pretty pissed off about that death. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the daily. Um, I'm currently only me and Nick have done it. I, I'm got first. Nick has unfortunately only got to 1-4 again, but uh, yeah, he's probably going to kick our ass tomorrow. Like, I'm expecting it, like, tomorrow or the day after. He's just going to be like, yep, hell run, bitches. But yeah, uh, I've been Goromoth. I hope you've enjoyed the daily, and I hope you join me again tomorrow for another one. Bye!